With today's rising home values and low mortgage rates, we're doing refinances with no closing costs to let you pull out tens of thousands in cash. Use that cash to pay off high-interest credit cards, car loans, do things around the house, or anything you want. My husband and I realized the best low-cost way to get a large chunk of cash was to take advantage of our home's value by refinancing. Chris got us a low interest rate, and we pulled 50000 in cash out. We paid off credit cards and a few other things, and the whole process was super easy. Cash Call Mortgage is designed to pay with great fixed rates with absolutely no closing costs. None. Your house is your bank. So make the cash call now at 855-875-CASH. That's 855-875-CASH. First Mortgage is Impact Mortgage Corp. DBA Cash Call Mortgage. One City Boulevard, Orange, California, 92868, NMLS, 128231. Equal housing lender, not licensed in all states, not available in Washington State. Call 855-657-9910 for licensing, terms, and restrictions. That's 855-875-CASH. Switch to Boost Mobile and get four lines for only $25 per line with unlimited gigs on every line. All on the super reliable and super fast nationwide network. Plus, switch today and get up to four free phones. Boost makes it easy to switch. Switching makes it easy to save. The Lars Larson Show. Well, it's going to be a tough time to be a liberal these days because despite all the things, the brickbats and all that liberals and the press are throwing at President Trump, he's doing pretty darn good. They're cutting tens of millions of dollars that were originally planned for helping out Palestinian refugees. As far as I'm concerned, we stopped funding the Palestinians. They stopped supporting terrorism. The 9 p.m. on Freedom 970. Portland's right place to talk. If we can break failure down to information, and like, and what did I learn from this? How do I grow from this? What What was that experience like? And then you are able to further your cause, further whatever you're working on, whatever you're doing. It's like 
my 10 year old son, you know, he plays hockey and he, he ate his losing like his first couple of games and got killed. And, he, and I got in the car and he was mad, I was angry. I go, what did, well, what, I, mean, I know you're upset about losing, but what did, what did you learn? He goes, well, I could skate a little better, I could stick hand a little better. I need to get my shot up, my shot needs to be a little bit stronger, and I need to get into the speed of the game. I go, what would you have learned if you won the game? And he looked at me like, uh, I don't know. I go, right. so take these lessons. It's okay. Right. It's behind you now. Let's move forward. I almost fear people that have success too early and it becomes so natural. It's always me. Because it's not gonna because <laughs> it's not gonna happen the rest of the way down the line and they can't handle it when adversity hits you late. I would argue a lot of times parents well meaning shield their kids for yeah. some losses, some demotions, uh, being put in special classes, making the